And we're back, so I'm showing you RimWorld. Um, I've sort of left off where my colony was. Uh, in fact, truth be told, I'm probably going to record a few episodes at once uh, and then I can upload them because then I don't have to worry about being uh, a bit consistent. Uh, I have got another colony on, a, on another save going, so if I want to casually play, I can, but I promise that this one will only be uh, for us. Uh, and, and who knows um, how long I stick to this sort of thing, or, or if it's any good, if I've got no one watching it or no feedback or anything like that, then, then I probably won't do much more. So it says build a room, but I've built, oh no, it's probably because those doors there haven't been built. It tends to do this thing that, uh, although I've not actually found a build queue, probably is one somewhere actually, um, it always builds the latest thing you dropped first, if that makes sense. So I think the doors were the first thing I put in, and then I put other things in, so, um, oh now it is coming up with only a research project. So we will get those doors built, as soon as those doors built, that should become a, a building, uh, and they'll get a bit happier. So I, I always go for pneumatic picks first, purely because at this stage we need to be doing a lot of drilling, getting our spaces, uh, getting a lot of resources. So metal is one of the big key resources. So you have metal, stone and uh, silver, which is money, and wood. And um, you get metal by finding it, because there are random lumps of it all around. He says trying to find some, no, that's silver, that's metal there. Um, 36 bits of metal, but equally you can do it by drilling. So where this gold flecks are, that's uh, minerals, and you would harvest out of that. I think he might start, to, oh no, I thought he was about to start building. I think they're actually going to get this uh, uh, meals. Yeah, they're eating, and they're probably moaning because I haven't built them a table. So we will also build them a table. We will actually build them a small table in here. This is a bit homey, and as soon as this becomes a proper building, it will be out the rain. I should probably... Oh no, so they have dropped the wood there, so let's speed up a bit. And you've got these speed controls, so normal, fast, and ridiculously fast. You've got weather conditions, and the game, and that sort of thing. This is sort of your running, what's going on sort of thing. So they're currently sleeping, and it's raining. And if I go into their thoughts, they'll probably be going eight off floor. Yeah, eight off ground negative, slept outside negative, sharing bedroom negative. So we will, uh, but they do think it's pleasant. They've had some social stretch. So that's now become a building. So, uh, and actually, I can explain this bit here. So this is their mood. And when their mood gets down to here, they have a mental break, uh, which means they can start hitting people or they decide to quit and just wander off. Um, so you, you, and you do things to improve, like conditions. Um, had a nice cooked meal at, at a table, that sort of thing. Um, equally, uh, things can bring it down. So, saw dead body and things like that um, can't help. So, let's just go back to normal speed for now. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I think they're, yeah, they're going off to collect resources. The other thing to probably um, introduce you to at this stage is the overview screen. So, um, this shows your uh, colonists and uh, what you've got them doing. So at the moment only the hunter, uh, who's actually called Chef, I didn't name him that, it's quite ironic. Um, he's the only one that can do cooking and hunting, which is good. We've got these two are the only ones that could do growing and mining, mine, uh, mining, and these sort of says the skills. So for hunting, for example, that will be a combination of melee and shooting skills. Um, and mining, I think, is just mining. So they're both very similar actually, while minor is obviously a lot better. And then we have things like hauling, and hauling is grabbing the resources that are out and about, uh, cleaning, uh, and only one person can research, and he also doesn't have a good skill. I thought, oh, I might have messed up when I was doing that, because I thought, oh yeah, research skill of zero, can't do research at all, and can't do research at all. So we're actually going to really struggle to get places. That's how you change their names if you need to. Um, we really... Let's see, that says build a room, but I thought we'd done that. Mm, it's probably because that was a bit of a fake room. We will build it. I'll tell you what, we'll build a second room. We could probably do with a second room anyway, which is for if and when we get prisoners. So I will build a second room here and put a bed in it. 
and we'll speed that up. I tend to um, do a lot on speed up. Where's the music on? Have we had music? Let's turn some music on. Mm, I don't know where the music's gone. Oh, there we go. I think. So we're missing a lot of wood, which probably means there's not any around, or they can't see some. So what it probably should mean is we probably could do with cutting some trees down. I don't tend to like cutting trees waste of time. Um, I tend to end up just buying wood. And we only want the ones that, as you can see, that says 61% grown. That one's 99% grown, that's 100% grown. So we only really want the, the ones that are near harvest, because obviously they'll give you the better returns. It says one is idle, hunter. Okay, what can we have hunter doing? Well, there's lots of things he can be doing. Cooking, um, and the cook stove. Oh, I, I wonder why. It's because there's no crops for him to cook at the moment. And let's add a butcher creature thing. So he'll be constantly butchering, but he hasn't done any hunting. So we probably actually need to send him off to go and do some hunting. Ah, oh, here we go. So let's let's mark uh, some hunt orders and let's tell him to tell you what we can hunt all of those deers. That'll give him something to do. Uh, so also new in this one is um, health and injuries. That's new to this build. And uh, let me, uh, so he can build, he can... Oh yeah, he's a cooking and shooting guy, isn't he? He also doesn't like dumb labour, being autistic and nothing intellectual, but he's also runs. Yeah, okay. That shows what they've got. And obviously how he's feeling. Ah, so he's gone off and killed something. This is the meat he's brought back. Deer meat. And he's now turning it into meals. Which will keep everyone happy. Might just turn the game volume up ever so slightly. Because then we can hear what they're doing. Oh, it's very peaceful. For now, I mean, it's now saying pirates will begin to start raiding us, so we need some defences. So I was just about to say that. Good timing. So we need to start building uh, some improvised turrets. So we'll probably put one there, one there, we'll put one there, probably put one there, and one there. That's probably quite a lot for now, but we will see how we get on. I've got to go and follow them now. So they're here just as uh, templates. So that probably needs to be about that far away. That needs to be about that far away. Oh, we've got some post. Which is post, or it could be the game trying to tell us something's happened. Or going to happen. Let's. You can never have too much interconnecting power. Only in case things get damaged. What does this say? Ah, oh, chief from somebody else is coming. Just come to wander around. I find these are pretty useless. Apart from sometimes, actually, to be fair, when you are being attacked, um, they can be very useful because they will help defend you just because for being there. I've had my bacon saved on a number of occasions because of... Right, this might seem weird. These are sandbags that I'm putting down. They're a defence mechanism. And it might seem a bit weird the way I'm doing it. Ooh, I don't want to do that there. But uh, you tend to go through a lot of these if you're being attacked often. Um, and the sandbags can help protect. Give you a little bit more time with your turret blowing things up before it gets blown up. I built through. Ah, yes, I did build. I've yet to find the best way of actually using these turrets um, with um, not necessarily using sandbags, but using something equivalent. I've I've built walls around them, thinking the turrets might be able to go above the walls, uh, but they can't. Um, but this seems to work. I mean, I sort of picked this corner because. You know, they can't be attacked from this way, unless 
I suppose they could land in. Sometimes you get people drop podding in, so they could drop pod in there, I suppose. We've got this here, but they could come down here. We've got this sort of natural barrier here, which would be useful. It'd be interesting to explore. Um, and this is a bit of a natural barrier, equally with that. So actually, I think we're pretty, pretty well defended. When we get to stone walls, I think we might actually eventually build up into all these spaces. Um, uh, just so we can have a big compound really be nice but we need to research stone and stone crafting at that point 